It's the second round of the Players' Cup here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I'm Scott Pritchard, joined by Josh Habig, and Josh has maintained his lead here at the Players' Cup. Josh, you shot 69. Tell us a little bit about your round today. Um, it was a pretty solid round overall. Uh, didn't get myself into too much trouble. Um, was able to make some good up and downs when I had to uh, to get it going. Just uh, just didn't make as many birdies today. You know, I only made one bogey. A uh, little bit of an unforced error there, but um, um, was happy with how kind of steady. A lot, lot more stress-free this round was actually than some of the some of the spells yesterday um, but uh, overall you know you always take anything in the 60s out here especially if, after getting off to a good start yesterday what's the hardest part about bouncing back you shot 65 t yesterday and coming back what's the hardest part knowing that you have to you know maintain that score or you know you probably want to shoot as low as you can yeah absolutely I mean I, you know I'm so comfortable on this course most of the time there's no reason I feel like there's no reason I can't go out and just make those birdies all the time, but it sneaks up on you in spots. So, uh, you know, the hardest part is just trying to get yourself at that same kind of mental level of relaxation and just, you know, seeing shots and committing and hitting and not, you know, comparing it to the day before and not feeling like you should birdie these holes. You know, it's just, it, there's a lot of cliches that have been thrown around for years, you know, in golf psychology, but they're there for a reason. So, you know, it's, you're just really trying to, figure out how you can put yourself in the same frame of mind as you were. Yeah. Now, for someone that hasn't played this golf course, we hear about how tough it is. Tell us what the most difficult element of this golf course is. Uh, I think you have to kind of change gears around here uh, pretty often. Like, you have you have some bunches of holes that you can really score on. Like, on the backside, you can get to number 12, 13, 14, 15. You can really, you, know, you hit some good shots or some good drives there, you can really take advantage of those holes. But then you have stretches like you know, like 9, 10, 11 that can kind of jump out at you, especially 9 and 10, you know, so you're really not playing defense, but you're totally happy with just making pars there. So, uh, you know, it's hard to just really get it rolling and keep it rolling because sometimes you're going to have to be like, okay, I'm just going to play conservative here. And, and um, you know, when the wind swirls around here, it makes it even more tough because you have to put yourself in the right positions around the greens. Uh, that's one of the main defenses of this place is the greens, but it's uh, it was a little bit tough to judge at times out there, so... Uh, that's another challenge. So you, you've got the lead now. What are you going to do for the rest of the afternoon? Oh, I'll get some lunch. I'll practice a little bit, you know, just kind of work on some of the shots that I know I'm going to have uh, the next couple of days. And it'll, you know, it could be really easy for somebody to go out this afternoon and, and, and pass me up. So um, I'm going to have to keep trying to do the same thing the next couple of days. So. Great. Well, great display the past two days, Josh, and we'll look for some more dis great displays from you on the weekend. Thanks.